Hi guys, um, hope you everyone can hear properly. Uh, I don't have feedback, so I'm not sure it works pretty well. Hope it does though. So I'm back at Baby Miniatures. Uh, still working on my snakes. So I got several of them. Uh, and I thought I might uh, paint as well this huge snake I've had for quite some time. And I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna paint it uh, in the likes of the snake giant snake you you have in Conan. Uh, the 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 movie because you know I need uh, some 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 reference and uh, I think it's supposed to be some kind of anaconda or something like that and it'll suit perfectly for the paint job but I should finish uh, these UNT before I got two of them yet to 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 paint fully this is the one I painted last live session. It's not finished, of course. The heads are mostly unfinished, and the eyes and such, like small details, aren't always finished. But you know, it'll be done eventually. Won't take very much time. So uh, this morning I just, you know, spent uh, 30 minutes painting this one, because I'm trying to do some variations on a few of these guys. The idea being to have uh, a pack of them uh, looking like individuals so I don't want them to look each uh, every one of, of them to, to look different uh, I, I don't want them to look the same I mean so um, I went for different color patterns but I still want them to be used as a pack so I obviously need to, to do some transitions so some of them have to be you know quite um, similar if not just slightly different than the others so this one I'm painting right now is going to be very close from this one. Uh, this one's more close to the red one. And the last one's probably going to be either a brown or a bit uh, green. I'll see. Uh, in any case, I'm going to paint this one just a further more. Uh, 
and then I'll probably um, paint up this this guy is gonna be way more interesting to paint I think for you guys uh, to watch so there you go but I'm still gonna finish uh, just the the, the base uh, color of this guy because I've already poured the paints in the wet palette so I need to use it so guys can see I'm not using the lights I have LED lights on the magnifier glass that is really good to to have a nice um, enlightenment of the the whole miniature but if I put it on it stripes like crazy I can, I can show you say you have great lighting but uh, it stripes Because uh, the webcam doesn't can handle uh, the, the 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 flickering, the light flickering of the the LED, unfortunately. That's bad. So I'm going to get off. There's a slight la latency between uh, reality and what I see uh, on the feed feedback. So, hope everything's all right with the the feed. Tell me in the the chat if you're experiencing any trouble. So I'm sorry the light isn't great. It's also very yellow yellowish lights, so you don't see the true cars, but it works all right from what I see. So just painting these UNT that probably won't be used as UNT uh, in my game and won't be used anytime soon too but I want them painted I've wanted them painted for a very long time I think these miniature look really cool Do you guys hear me uh, correctly? Is the mic on? I think the mic's on. Okay, so there you go. Um... So, hey, reading on the, greetings on the chat. I think you're the first Russian I have on this stream, on the the lives. At least that communicates. So, welcome. Just paint, painting a bunch of miniatures. What hour is it in Russia where you you live? It should be uh, late afternoon, maybe something like that. So I'm gonna finish the base paint of this guy, and then I'm probably gonna paint the the big giant snake. It'll be a lot funnier. 
for you guys. I think. There you go. So I'm going to work on the swords as well later on. I'm not sure I'll do that on camera. I could. If you guys are interested. I'm tempted to do some non-metallic paints. To use some non-metallic paints to do the, the sheen on the sword. Uh, the shield is going to remain mostly the same done with metallic paints. But I thought I might use non-metallic paint for the blades. Then again looks pretty nice so like this only it's missing some highlights and some shades so what I'm gonna do I think is take uh, darker brown shadings maybe mixed in with some some other metallic paints I have that are very tr translucent and that stick well just to draw some some shadows at some spots and then just do a very slight highlight with a very very light uh, gold type paint to enhance the the volumes, I'll see how it works. I'm not entirely sure about the the endeavor, but it could, you know, it could work. So I'll see. So first, let's paint. Finish painting this one T. Snake, uh, sort of snake dude. I like the fact that they are uh, that they are have harm arms, so they are, you know, partially human, but that uh, the rest is entirely snake. I don't really like snake men that have, you know, body of humans and just the head uh, of a snake. You gotta keep a little bit of that snake feature, you know, in the the whole uh, morphology, the whole body shape. You get definitely got that with the Yuan T. That's cool if you ask me. That's cool. So this one's going to be pretty light uh, skinned. Of course, he's going to have a darker. He's based uh, on another uh, some some snake I saw in the picture. I've done my research for the different snakes because I don't want to go, you know doing this thing just blindly we're in the south of russia volga and don yeah i don't know those places but yeah okay cheers when vikings used to move their ships oh yeah oh yeah near the volga i know you're doing great stuff oh thanks uh that's nice of you um yeah you're talking about the channel or the miniatures the Crafting terrain. I'm actually better off crafting terrain than painting miniatures, but I guess I'm alright painting miniatures too. Um, I'm happy to paint them because it's been quite some time and I have a whole bunch of them. Literally hundreds now of miniatures and you know, you need to paint them at some point, right? Otherwise, they just sit, sit there um, unpainted and uh, unused, mostly. And uh, it's quite depressing to use them in-game when they are not painted, I find. Especially uh, when you paint them, like, three or four days or one week and you get to paint them uh, <laughs> after the session you need them. So, I'm taking the, um, well, I'm doing it now, so in case I need it. I don't think those guys will be useful anytime soon in the campaign we were running, but you never know, all right? Also, 
I thought they were going to be super fast to paint, and they were actually rather fast to paint. I thought it will be faster, and I ended up doing way more details than I expected on these guys, but it's okay, because, you know, they look good. And they took only, you know, a reasonable amount of time doing. It's alright. The last one I did on live, I took, shit, an awful amount of time doing it. But it's more because I was, you know, talking. And uh, you, you tend to get distracted when you speak, when you talk, you know, live streaming. So you often take a little more time than you should. Then again, it's okay. But I did the other ones pretty fast. So it's all right. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna be, I'm really gonna be unable to, 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 to say your name because uh, it's all in Severlik in Russian. So, uh, I, I, what's your, how, how do you write your name in, in English? But, um, what are you up to? What are you crafting these days? Or painting, for that matter? In any case, you talk to me about Vikings, so I can only assume you enjoyed the video on the the longship. Maybe even discovered the channel then. Because uh, I got quite a few Russians uh, that subscribed after the um, the episode of the the long ship I'm unsure why probably but it, because it looks really historical and I know that there was actually a big community of Russians uh, doing a reenactment stuff around uh, Slavic and Viking uh, and Rus uh, reenactment so maybe you're one of these guys I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it simple because this guy's gonna have some patterns over uh, the skin. So I'm really gonna keep it simple for the the under skin tone. I'm not gonna take one hour to do it like I did last time on on camera. Because it really doesn't matter at all. It won't be seen. Uh, either I can do um, the patterns on the snake, or I can just you know start the new one, the big one, uh, just so that I forgot some molding lines. But I'm gonna try to remove them. Um, I'm trying to copy my dragger. Oh yeah. Well, sure you can do it. It'll take time. If you want to do all the options I did, uh, the same way, it'll take definitely take time. should be faster than when I did it, because um, I was experimenting. But uh, And you already have the, the tutorial showing you the, the, the mistakes not to do and how you can handle stuff and, and do them. But uh, yeah, if you want to do it exactly the same way, there are some stuff that are going to take a lot of time, though, and effort. But, you know, it's doable. And if you want to do, like, simpler options and stuff like that, uh, it's going to take a lot less time. For the shields, for example, uh, you can do s use something else than the, um, 
the glue uh, from the the pistol, the the glue gun. Uh, you can actually use some some nail decorations, for example. That will save up time. Um, you can also save time when you're doing, of course, the um, uh, the the ropes of the ship because I did them really modular, but you don't really have to do it this way. In any case, it does take time. But I'm really interested to see your take. If you're doing it, uh, you know, do not hesitate uh, when it's done or when you know when it's the work is advanced and you've done some stuff on it. You know, send me some pics at Landvators um, uh, at uh, gmail dot com. I'll be happy to see the the result. Really. Uh, shield pattern prints. Well, if you give me your uh, email address, I can send you my shield pattern if you're interested. But there are many online, so you can find. Uh, so, so yeah, guys. Either, either I continue this guy or I do the big one. You know what? I'm gonna do the big one just for the pleasure because you guys are here. And uh, I can do the small ones afterwards on myself, on my time, you know. Uh, so this guy is basically gonna look like the snake on in Conan's movie, um, the first one. So it's basically gonna be reddish, like a bit yellow underneath, and getting you know orange reddish on top with black stripes and a little bit white under the the jaw back there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, should be fine, right? So let's start with. So I'm definitely going to have to do some 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 kind of wood blending or something like that. I'm going to try to remove this. Should have done that before the the priming of the the piece, but. Didn't see them apparently. There you go. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Maybe painted, we won't see it at all. If there's something else elsewhere there. I think it's a Dark Legend model. Oh, I think I bought it on Re Reaper. <laughs> it's nice. I found a better looking one later on, but haven't bought it because. That looks cool. I think I'm alright for the rest. Just a slight. There you go. There you go. Hey Gregory. Um, I'm using a wine cork and magnet to hold the mini. Yeah. Not for the huge snake, but for the UNT, yes I am. All my miniatures, well, most of my miniatures are based with uh, washers, you know, metallic washers. So it works great. You know, it's very easy to pull off and very easy to make it stand on. Even my big miniatures, you see all the miniatures that are there. Got a bunch of them. All of them are based with a metallic washer. So... Um, I like it that way. I like my miniatures heavy. Even this uh, huge dire bear has got a big ass um, uh, washer underneath. So yeah, you can see this undead werewolf uh, with uh, customized uh, base made out of um, bark of a chestnut. I'd say ch chestnut uh, bark with some green stuff, some stones. And I still haven't base coated this one, but you can see the metallic washer underneath as well. So yeah, I like the miniatures to feel a little bit heavy on the table. It's also quite useful when you, you have magnets. You can, um, you know, get them to stand very easily wipe while painting. I prefer that over the um, sort of, um, you know, tape, not tape, but paste. I'm using that for the snake though because he doesn't have a base yet. So I'm gonna go with some red for him, uh, red and yellow, and that'll be 
enough I think for uh, for the base paint so where's my red I've got this red I got this red so this is dark red this is light red I should take the light red obviously and I'm gonna take some yellow um, and even some white uh, the well really at the bottom it's probably gonna become white um, in any case all look good you know by the end I'm not totally sure what I'm doing but I could take a deep yellow but I don't have much paint anymore then again I could use this medium flesh I'm gonna use this red this medium flesh and maybe a little bit of yellow I got this desert yellow but it's not very very yellow I think uh, you know, could do the trick though. Could do the trick. Yeah, the medium flesh is probably smallly yellow. I'm gonna take the medium flesh, it's more yellow. Okay. So, is this gonna be good? So, I'm taking my trusty. Uh, driller with this tube there, a vitamin tube, and this is my technique to get the paint shaked. Make sure there is no clogging. Okay, should be good. There you go. Fast and easy to use. So, I got myself some yellow. Well, it's not yellow, it's Vallejo Modal Colors Medium Flesh Tone, but it really looks yellowish. So, there you go. Um, then some red. It's maybe a bit too red, but I'm going to mix them. Um, there you go, and I should actually get some little bit of white. I'm just gonna take just a little bit of white. Are you guys both from Russia? Because Grigori. Surely sounds Russian. Oh, there you go. So, got myself some red, some yellow, and some white. Let's go. Uh, using a mirror to bounce the image to a camera. A mirror to bounce the image to a camera. No, no, uh, this is actually, um, how do you call that, a magnifier glass, so I can see what I'm doing, and uh, hopefully you guys too, but uh, I can remove it as well, it just enables you guys to see the, the miniature uh, bigger on the screen, because I, you know, it's, it's a nice webcam, but it's not the greatest, um, image capture for uh, small stuff so I'm using the magnifier glass as well so what I'm gonna do here oh you're from Texas sorry about that just Grigori sounds a bit Russian um, so and uh, it's probably pretty late in the US Right now, right? Should be super light, actually. Or <laughs> really early, depending on how you see things. Then again, US are big, very large, geographically speaking. So, depends on which coast you're in. 
Um, so there you go. So I should take some orange. So I'm gonna try something that I saw in other tutorials, painting tutorials that I didn't actually try, and I'm not sure it will work for me, but I try it nonetheless. Actually works pretty well. I'll definitely have to pass again. But see, I'm applying just one straight up one one go of the the paint, the red on top and the yellow underneath. Well, it'll work better if there weren't so much of these um, rings of uh, of snake like going on top of each other, but works nonetheless. See, it's actually faster to get a nice transition between the yellow and the the, the red. That's kind of fun. Even if it's a bit, I think it'll, it might work better on some very smooth surfaces. Yeah. Shit. It's all right. Then again, there are going to be patterns on the snake. So, you know, it's alright if it's not absolutely perfect everywhere underneath the patterns. Because there are going to be some very dark stripes on top that are pretty much going to catch uh, all the attention of the viewer. So, you know, it's, it's no big deal. Besides, I'm always way too perfectionistic. So sometimes you you gotta accept to go faster, just you know, just for the sake of painting a little bit more miniatures. So I'm going fast. You know what? I'm gonna try to paint this one real fast and make sure it looks good. So this is gonna be uh, tricky. I'm gonna try to make it look good. However, I'm gonna go to try. I'm gonna try to go fast. For the exterior, I think it will work better, the technique. Let's see if it works better here. So I'm going to take a bunch of yellow here. So, wait, yeah. And just red here. And let's see if it works. Yeah, it sort of works. Of course, it would work a lot better if the surface was smooth. Well, yeah, it works all right. Doesn't speed up very significantly the the painting. Uh, well, actually, it does, because it creates an instant uh, shading, an instant uh, color. Uh, um, I don't remember a gradient. So yeah, it 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 does work to uh, to get faster. It does. I don't. I'm. Not, I'm unsure if you guys really saw on camera what I just did. I think I saw um, uh, Mini. I do that. I'm unsure. Oh. Uh, I'm in France. I'm uh, in Paris. Paris, France. So it's just you know the start of the. Well, it's. In the afternoon, it's uh, it's uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, half uh, half past three o'clock.
I knew it's uh, AM, so uh, on test Meridian, so it's um, yeah, it's super early. Well, not that super early, but it's quite early. Yeah, okay, it works to go pretty fast. Uh, I mean, I've missed some spots because it's super scaly and it's hard to get the paint in every recess. But I won't say I'm mostly done, but nearly off of the surface that are already painted for the base of the snake. So it does speed up a little bit the, the process. You know? Yeah, you get most, you get an instant uh, gradient. It's not negligible. It's pretty dope. So you see what I did, right? Um, I took like most most of the. Um, the brush is filled with lighter tone. Here it's some kind of uh, yellow, dark yellow. And only the, the top part of the brush is going to be... Um, uh, I'm going to put some red. And when I smudge everything onto the surface, the fact that I'm having the, the lower half of the, um, the brush soaked in yellow and the upper uh, filled with red, uh, it makes this color mix as I'm putting them on the model, so it actually creates a gradient. I don't have to, to pass over and over again and create this gradient effect. I basically have the effect being created for me by the brush. Of course, I'm going to have to to go back over and correct a few mistakes here and there, but it does save up some time. Clearly, clearly it does. So that's cool. Because this miniature is nice, but I don't want to spend ages painting it. Because it's just a snake, obviously. It's not a personal character, so... I'm going to try to have this one look pretty cool, but uh, be fast in the making, if I can. I'm sure I can. You know, I'll spend more time on the face, uh, I mean on the, the head of the snake, and... Um, and on the, um, the black details, the stripes that are going to be on the back, they are, I'll spend some time there, but they'll be far more visible than the, the under uh, shade, the under tone that I'm doing right now. So, you know, when you're painting a miniature, and unless you're doing, you know, really a personal character that you're going to miss, you really want it to be nice. Uh, if it's another type of miniature, you just got to know wh where to, uh, to spend time and where to go fast. Then again, that's only my advice, but I'm not that experienced in painting. It's just thing I've noticed. You know, I've noticed spending a lot of time doing some effects that could actually give the same render effect um, after uh, like 10 or 20 times less time taken to do it. So when you can do something faster and slightly I mean, nearly as well looking as if you took hours doing it. Jump on the occasion to save time. You'll spend more time on details. And uh, this is actually also why these search techniques, like this one, are pretty handy. You know, you can save time. You definitely want to do it. Also, it's pretty nice because I learned quite a, quite a lot when I watch tutorials about painting miniatures. Because I got a good sense of shading, but I'm still pretty new to the miniature painting uh, subject. But I got a, an artistic background, so I got a fairly good understanding of shades and and color schemes and stuff like that, but painting miniature is something something else. There are lots of techniques and tips and tricks 
you can learn. So it's always nice learning new new tricks. Snakes. Snakes are cool. Snakes are definitely cool. Makes me want to watch Conan again. So I'm going to go with the yellow uh, for the underbelly. And then I'll go on uh, with um, a wash, a dark wash for to, to enhance the the details. And I think I'll come back with a, something a lot more white. Because I want um, the underbelly and the under jaw to be a bit uh, more white. For it to stand uh, stand out, and I think it was actually uh, a bit more whites in the movie, with very dark stripes that are really gonna make it pop. For now, I'm just doing the the, the big volumes and the the reddish color on top, and the orange yellow underneath. But uh, there's gonna be very nice contrast by the end. The idea is doing really a stun, try to do a stunning creature that will pop out on the on the battlefield on the uh, the game table at least that's what we're going to try to do something stunning looking but fast to paint mhm mm so I'm almost done with the the red uh, the undertone. I just try not to forget any spots because you don't want it to look unfinished. Yeah. I'm sure as if maybe I should just put on some gray underneath. I don't know. No, I'm gonna go for yellow. I'll put up some light afterwards, I think. Some very uh I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could already put on some white. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some some yellow, but it's gonna be very, very light yellow. I can mix in it with white. That should do the trick. Mixing it colors. I need to buy some more paints. Cause I'm I've used quite a lot of my paints. So I need to buy new ones. I think I'm only gonna buy Vallejos. They are a bit more expensive than let's say army painters. Many of my uh, I've got mainly two brands of painting i've got vallejo and i've got army painter and honestly vallejo is the best the army painter you know they're cheaper but they um they set pretty badly if you don't use them over time and then the bit the pigments uh just um separates from the 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 rest of the components in the ball and it's really pain in the ass to to get it back and to work on your your models. Whereas uh, Vallejo really works well. There are thicker uh, paintings, so I'm not sure they're as good with uh, airbrush. But I don't use the airbrush that often. 
then again I've got some flow aid but uh, it's definitely got a very superior coverage of the miniature Vallejo so I think I'm gonna buy the model model colors from Vallejo that will be a bit more expensive but at least uh, it will be worth it and I won't have to fight with my uh, my paintings so what are you guys saying um, Paris, I let your heart but oh, you let your heart back there in 2006. What do you mean by that? Do you mean a fringe girl or something like that? Um, have to go right now and bring these two before I'm gonna sh shut them close. Oh, you already got them, Alexander? Oh, you got it's you, Alexander. So you change your name. Uh, okay, Alexander. Um, well, do you have them, the shield, or no? Do you have the images, or no? If you don't, send me, uh, send me your, your email address, and I'll send you the... I'll send you the, the image, if you want. Uh, it's as you wish, you know. If you want to print them now, send me your email address, and I'll, I'll send it. So we're about done. I need to go inside because I don't want to miss any spots. I should go underneath also. Actually, missed a lot of spots. I really don't really like these uh, these lights because they are. You guys can see better, but I don't. What if I take it off? Do you guys see? Cause I would see a lot better with the LED, but you guys are gonna get some 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 pretty bad stripes on the on the feed if I do that. I'm unsure as why it stripes so much. I mean, LED is pretty freaking from now, you know. And this webcam is pretty pretty new you know it's new material and I don't get why uh, why it stripes so much when when it's got LED light going on on top it's pretty weird and you know I've tried changing the frequency of the the, the recording and the streaming but you know it doesn't have much you know, it does something, but not much. Steps, still stripes. So there you go. I only use old light bu bulbs. They, you know, they do the trick. But first of all, they're not white, so slightly alters the colors, and then they're not half as bright as the the LED. So that's a bummer, I guess. So I'm having a hard time getting inside the recesses there. They're pretty far away. Right, so in case you guys never participated in one of my lives before, I really, if you guys are painting miniatures, uh, I really suggest you guys buy... Um, or you know why um, use for painting this kind of brush it's just a standard brush except it's damaged it's bashed in you know it's current like hooked because of the weights and it makes for a very good uh, you know brush for painting because since it's bent and hooked at the front well you can get paint to be uh, to be set in some super precise places without touching the rest of the miniature with the rest of the the brush and that is pretty convenient so that's why these types of brush are pretty much my favorites when it comes to to painting miniatures
because you can get pretty precise with them just by you know setting the the paint where you want it and not having the rest of the brush in the way that you know uh, threatens to set up paints where you don't want it well you don't have these kinds of problem with these kinds of uh, our brushes so I'm almost done with the whole color I'm sorry it takes a little time for the the last details but I don't want to miss any spots because if I do it will look awful so I'm just gonna take a few instants to to make sure that that I got paint everywhere on all the surfaces that can be visible from an angle on another of course it's gonna be set on a base at the end so I don't really care if the, the, the real bottom of the, the snake is painted or not but most of it has to be painted though everything that can get visible has to be painted you know so this is good, okay, 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 not bad, okay, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So uh, I'm gonna go with the yellow underneath the head too. So the the I'm gonna do just the same thing, basically, for the head. The, um, the top is going to be reddish and the bottom is going to be more uh, yellow. And that should do the trick. That should do the trick. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. So at first I thought about I won't do a base for this guy. So I'll be able to set him where I want. But I'm not sure I want to paint the underbelly because it's flat. So I'm not really sure that I'm going to keep him without any base. I might do a you know, standard base with, um, I don't know, stones or gravels or earth-like base. I don't know. Still unsure. So I'm gonna paint this guy, and then I'll I'll decide later. Yes. So I'm gonna to try to do the same thing I did before. So it's gonna be red there, and Yeah, I think it's a technique that can be really nice if you, uh, you know how to handle it. Well, I think I'm doing a sloppy job at handling it, but it should be alright. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be, f you know, it's gonna be fine for. Uh, uh, undercoats. It's gonna be awesome. So for now, the guy looks really uh, very, very yellow and red. But it's gonna be with quite some some black tone by the end and some highlights, of course. I'm sure it'll look great. Okay, there you go, a little bit of red in the nostrils, okay, 
So, I got myself the base car for the snakes. The snake, sorry. Now I'm going to start doing the... Um, the um, stripes at the back you know black stripes looks black doesn't it yeah it does and actually there's a little bit of brown on top so I'm slightly gonna add some 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 brown where the body is the thickest because it looks like there's some brown so Gregory your thesis is that the focus on art in public spaces Oh, sorry, I didn't read the other sentence. Uh, so you wish it was because of a girl. Uh, there was there was done on a seven month independent study. Following the time going to art galleries and museums, my thesis was the focus on art and public space. Yeah, that's a white theme, man. Cool. Yeah, Paris is a wonderful city. It's if you like art, it's it's wonderful, obviously, because it's it's so old and has so many types of art museums and the city itself is a piece of art because it's super uh, ancient oh, you can always find more ancient but it's definitely an old city so um, you got a very rich history yeah definitely you know, every place you, you live in has its pros and cons, of course. But you gotta admit that Paris is pretty rich, uh, culturally, culturally wise. Um. Uh. So, this is about right, All right? Looks good, hmm? For old base coat, it looks about right. How do you guys think? Can I start the black stripes? Did I miss any spots? Is there something funky with the color? Or can I go? Can I go, go, go? I'm putting the underbelly just just a tad just in case there you go so I I said I was gonna use some white as well to get a very light underbelly uh, I'm messing it up Trying my best not to mess it up. Ain't doing a good job at it. I'm pretty much messing it up. Yeah. I'm, you know, right now I'm getting into details no one will ever see. That's usually the time we're starting to lose some precious time, you know, doing stuff that won't be seen. Just so you're satisfied that you've done them. Um, pretty pointless if you ask me, but here I am doing it. Because, you know, why not? Oh. But it allowed me to see a few steps, a few spots that I didn't do. That 
could be problematic if not done. There you go. Okay. So, there you go. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Now uh, you guys probably can't see what I'm painting right now, I can barely see it myself. But I'm getting in all the little recesses of these rings. Snake rings. Okay, that looks good. Um, so I'm gonna be terrified that this snake crossed my path. Anything that is called like that has fangs get a free shot. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Plus, uh, just the sheer size of it. I mean, if I take one of the miniatures of my players, there you go. Uh, pretty nasty stuff, right? I think it's about the the exact size of the, comparatively speaking, the exact size of the. Um, the snake in the Conan film. That's pretty, you know, a pretty nasty beast. Of course, in video games and such, we're used to, to, to having to fight a huge titan-like uh, enemy. So, you know, you could like be like, oh yeah, you know, it's yeah, it's just a large snake. Yeah, sure. Just wait, just be in front of a real snake for once. You know, a big real snake that can be dangerous and see your reactions. Now imagine the one, <laughs> you know, having a the size of a small car and then you'll know, see if you're really uh, that brave in front of it so yeah definitely a snake like that would be a nightmare in real life an utter nightmare and that's what we why we use them for for games Because, you know, we like to play scared, to scare ourselves. But he's not gonna look as red by the end, because there's gonna be dark brown and and there's gonna be some black stripes that are gonna break uh, all this uh, fiery look. He's definitely gonna look nasty. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a huge snake. We want it to be nasty, looking, attacking characters, playing characters, and you know, getting them a hard, hard time. I'd love to use this guy in a future session. It's not going to be any time near, I think. For now, the characters are mostly facing deep ones, the players. But you never know when a snake is about to pop out, right? Okay, so let's go for all the brown, and then I'll do the stripes. Because for now, I'm spending too much time on the on the snake, on the red. Okay, so just all better brown. What am I gonna take? What kind of brown am I gonna take? Um, I need. Let's see the pictures. Cause I got myself some reference image reference. I could even take some. Yeah, some black. No, some brown. Yeah, some brown. It does look a bit like it's with a very slight blue hue. Almost like how do you call that? 
Uh, violet, no, um, shit. Um, purple, dark purple. But I think I'm gonna take. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take brown and just a hint of. Of purple, you know. We're gonna go there impress impressionist uh, style, but just really a hint of purple. So I'm gonna take dark brown, like orc brown, oak brown. Sorry. Oh shit, this one's not mixed up properly. You see, army painter doesn't mix well. Well, at least sells. Look at that color. It's not even the the tone. See. Have to mix it. Happens every time with the army painters. Well, well what are the the browns you guys use? What's color for the miniatures? Yeah, it might be not in level 24, I think. Level 24 is pretty high, following uh, d d standards, you know. <laughs> can you actually get to level 24? Not even sure you can. Yeah, you probably can, right? Mm hmm? You buy one Uh, I'm gonna look how it looks like, you know, with the the purple. Maybe it'll look like shit. So, but maybe it's not the right purple. See, I didn't have to mix again this one, and I haven't used this uh, purple for uh, like a century or something like that. But I didn't even have to mix it up. So let's see how it goes with the brown. Yeah, it's not bad. Now, how will it look on the creature? That's something else entirely different. Uh, I could be doing something very wrong there, but you know what? I'm going to live dangerously and no pain, no gain. Probably doing a mistake, though, but you know what? You know what, I'm gonna go lighter with a very dilute paint. Because there's gonna be some black stripes there, so I don't wanna get too ahead of myself with some 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 shadings that are gonna be darken the, the mill. Because if I do it, the dark stripes won't be as visible. Could be bad for the rest of the... But I'm, you know what, I'm not sure, I think it'll... It could just enhance the, the whole piece. I'm actually blindly, you know, blindly following the the stock image I found of uh, Conan's uh, snake in the movie with uh, Schwarzenegger. And yeah, it looks brown, but on certain angles on the image, it looks a bit purple. So, there you go. And you know, if it ends up looking bad, I'll, I'll put up some brown, some, some, some red on top. That's all. But I'm gonna stay very discreet with uh, this purpley brown. And I'm gonna put too much of it. Just one stripe that's all and then we'll go in with the black because it's definitely the black that's going to do the trick
because the black is gonna be really black so we're gonna be able to see pretty well uh, the um, the stripes on the back and I'll give an instant uh, snake texture because obviously this guy has a very has snake features it looks like a snake but uh, there's also the texture you, you instantly uh, recognize a snake you know I mean I would show you a texture looking snake like a snake back you know with a dark um, stripes and, and, and spots and stuff like that you you'd probably instantly recognize a snake skin even if it's not this the snake itself you know so texture and patterns are pretty important to 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 get identification and to get a character into a, into your miniature so doesn't look bad though I maybe went a little bit over the top but it doesn't look bad at all I'll probably have to mitigate a little bit the uh, the purple later on and bring it bring in a little more red inside because maybe I want a little bit over the top some places but it, it does look okay I'm not sure you guys can see it because of the poor lighting but it does look all right okay so I think I'm mostly done there what I need now is to do these black stripes over the whole body no yeah, that looks fine Let's get to these stripes. See how we can do that. Okay, you know what? We're good there. Uh, so a bit of that, a bit of brown. We said over the head. Did I put? Uh, should put over the head a little bit. Just like that. I don't know if it's a good idea, but. Yeah, I like the idea of putting purple there. Sometimes you gotta go with a a wilder move just to get something a bit out of there. Okay, so it ain't perfect yet, obviously, but we're getting some places. Okay. So let's try the black now. Uh, let's ask your You remind me with the blue purple looks. Let's ask your something. Yep. So let's go with the black. This is a fun part. So, 
I didn't catch my reference images. So this is the head. You know what? I'm going to start by the head for the black. I'm going to take the black. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where, 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 where is the black? Ah, is that the black? No, that's gray. Dark gray. Is that the black? No, it's gunmetal. Gunmetal. I need black. No. Uniform gray. Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, black. There you go. So, now if I do this properly, the black should instantly give uh, a finished look to the miniature. I'm gonna start by the head, and then I'll uh, I'll get to the the rest of the the body. So I'm gonna try to spare the eye, because the eye is probably gonna be a very uh, bright color, like green or something like that. Uh, but 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 I'm gonna put a stripe of black. what I mean about a curved brush I was able to spare a part of the eye it wasn't even that difficult so there's gonna be huge huge black part here And um, there's going to be black here in front too. And it's basically going to go like this. That. that but I need to go wider here I need to go wider so how does it look the face look here okay nah -uh. see it's flatter so it's under here and under there so okay it's really under here here and there and here it's something like that and I think there are some black stripes underneath as well underneath the jaw right yes they are they are where is that thing on the sides Okay, so there's going to be some black stripes there too, but I'm going to add them later, I think. I'm going to go for the body for now. So the head, I, forget, I keep forgetting, there's supposed to be black here.
of course I'm gonna go with highlights afterwards to make sure I don't lose any of this gold because there is a nice gold with the scales and stuff such but for now I'm really, really going for the the patterns on the on the snake we'll see later on for the the highlights and the and such so from the, there on there's gonna be stripes like that and like that okay I'm gonna, oh shit damn crap it's alright I just lost my burn, paintbrush <laughs> just a little tense by there it's alright Everything's right. There you go. So, wait. There you go. Uh, I'm still just... I'm, I'm looking at the pattern, guys. Once I'll know it, I'll be able to do it very fast everywhere. But for now, I just want to see how it looks. So it looks like that. And then it goes underneath on its belly, I think. Actually. It goes like that. Yeah, so there's supposed to be a small one. I just forgot one shit crap. It's all right. Eh, doesn't look half as good as on the image, but uh, <laughs> I know I'll enhance it afterwards with some origin at the side. It should do the trick. So there's going to be, it has to be a lot straighter like that. I put a little point there. And there you go. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, you know, just maybe I'm unlucky, but just maybe the, the pattern, this pattern looks really good in real life, but won't look good on ball. I'm afraid. But maybe it's just that I haven't finished as all. Okay, this one looks actually way better than the first one. Uh, it looks better. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but it does look better. How do you guys think? It's not perfect because I'm. I think I'm gonna enhance the the sides of these. Uh, by uh, you know putting some 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 highlights that actually can be seen on the beast too, uh, in in the movie. But for now, I'm doing the black. Now. Doesn't look bad, but I'm not entirely convinced. Really? 
because I had another there was another possibility there but not really anymore uh, yeah it does look good though it's not perfect I mean there are gonna be some some de mild details tweaking afterwards but I think overall it all look good it's hard for now to say I mean I don't see why it wouldn't look good just have to be careful not to go too fast <sighs> yeah. so guys this is supposed to be the thrilling parts so just just so you know I'm actually breathing only uh, taking one breath at each minute so this is clearly in case you haven't noticed the thrilling part of the paint job the part you don't want to mess up because if you do well too bad too bad I'm kidding, you can, you know, you can fix a few mistakes, even with black like this, but it's going to be a lot of work if you do it, so better be careful, you know. Better be extra careful. But this is going to take a little, a little while until I do all the the stripes, hopefully. So you got, if you guys have better things to do, just, you know, run. Run for your lives. Whatever. It'll do the trick, you know. I'm only slightly convinced, but uh, it looks all right, I guess. I'm definitely going to add more white. I think you're making the right choices so far. Um, thanks, Alexandra. It looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. You guys can see it. It looks all right. I'm not sure why, but I was expecting way better results, you know, look looking. But, um... I think I'm trying to get ahead of myself. I'll getting more I'll get in more details afterwards. For now. It should do the trick. Sorry, I'm a bit concentrated, so I don't speak. But, um...
<sighs> I'm I'll be glad when it's done and that I can finally do the details uh, that are gonna make these um, stand out even more and defined a bit better because um, I'm having the feeling I, I could have been more tidy with these uh, patterns maybe I put on a little too much water maybe I was just a bit too reckless but uh, I might just need some highlights afterwards here and there to get everything a bit more under control shape wise you know where did I paint? Oh, no, there it is. Then again, you know, it's a snake, so it's a living being. It's all right if everything is not symmetrical, you know? When you guys are painting uh, beasts, you know, give yourself some some break, you know, because nature is isn't always geometrical and symmetric and such. So much tension. Oh crap. That's all right. Uh, it's, I'd say, halfway done. Uh, I'm gonna do the black on the other side of the face. That's how I said. Under there, and pretty like most of this is gonna be filled out. How about that? Did that part, did this uh, side way better than the other? Looks way more, uh, more beautiful than the other, the other side. See that? I kind of butchered it, this, this side, this side's really, really nice. So I'm going to take this as a reference for the rest when I do when I correct the other side at least I got one side right snake uh, I don't remember how the tail looked back there how did the tail look do you guys remember in the movie how the tail look I remember
Sorry, I don't speak much. If you guys want me to chat, you need uh, to chat. You need to uh, find a subject. Otherwise, I'm getting concentrated as much as I can. Are you guys able to see properly? Is the feed all right? Okay, nearly finished. Okay, it doesn't look bad though. Doesn't look bad. See if I only use some some small highlights, just before you know between the red, uh, the main body, and the pattern, very very light uh, white or yellow uh, stripes, very thin. It'll make the texture pop out, and I think it'll look very good. It could should do. It should look very good by the end. Of course, I'm gonna do some highlights also on on the underbelly, on the different um, uh, features on the, the the head of the snake. So there is gonna be a variation. There is gonna be more of a detailed um, look. Because I'm spending a lot of time here for the the pattern on the back, obviously. Because it has to be to, to be well made. It's very visible. It's going to give m much of the appearance of the creature. But I've been quite fast painting this one for such a complex uh, pattern. So with just a you know a few more details, minor details and highlights here and there, we'll have something that looks pretty dashing, I think. Um. So I'm gonna go with the dark, uh, mostly dark uh, tail, I think. Something. Something mostly dark, actually. Oh, I'm maybe doing, you know, maybe it's a mistake, but. Let's 
sure if it's the right idea, but I'll cover some stuff with yellow and red afterwards because I've been a bit sloppy with the, the final stages there. But, you know, it's alright. It's alright. Okay. Okay, so here it's good. Okay, so now let's go for the light stuff. Ugh. Getting a bit tired here. Uh, stripping is pouring out together nicely. Yep, it is. It actually looks better in real life than on the image, but. So, I'm thinking about using a very thin brush. Would this do the trick, though? Because it could work well with a uh, yellowish that. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Let me try something. And I said try, right? So it means this can go bad. Yeah, this won't go, do well. I prefer my other brush. So I said white and I said yellow. Mix these up together. Thank you very much. There you go. Let's try something. Let's see if what I intended to do works. Let's start in here. Maybe it's going to be a bit too much. I should mix in with a little bit more yellow. But see the contrast between the very dark pattern and the red of the snake. It should enhance the the difference between the two. And actually, I'm gonna put in some white here. Bear with me. I'm trying something, right? Just trying something. So, I'm just gonna try something for this, just this stripe. So I'm putting in some white. I'm just trying something out. So if I do this this way, obviously, It'll take time to end up the stripes, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm experimenting right now. Nonetheless, I want to try something. So see, I put on some black. Now I'm going to take, uh, I mean some, some white. 
I'm going to take just a little bit more black and make sure I don't lose any of this black outside because it's a bit, a bit heavy on the white. Okay, okay, not losing any black. There you go. And now, what I'm trying to do is put back some red, but just a dot of red in the middle of the white zone. Am I going to be able to do that? That is the question, because I want to keep the white on the outside and just get the red inside. There you go. Not really sure it works a lot, but should work a little bit. I'm sure if you guys can see what I'm trying to do, but I think it's getting too detailed it won't really be seen but yeah it maybe it won't really be seen but may maybe it will work for the whole shape of the snake and the perception we have of the snake what do you guys think about this white outline do you think it actually helps bring out like I think uh, the black stripe or is it too much? Maybe maybe it's too much and it looks a bit uneven. You guys tell me. Maybe you don't see it very well. Uh, I'll try to if I if I take take this off. Is I able to see properly? Maybe it's a bit too much. Maybe it's not needed. You guys tell me. Too much? Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep with the red then. Besides, I probably should have done this before if I wanted, you know, put the white first and then the black. I'm not sure you guys see what I tried to do, but I want the black to be to be seen. And, uh, you know, the top of the snake isn't that, that bright, so I'm always afraid that the black stripes won't show. But, um, but you're right. It's a bit over the top, so what I'm going to do is remove this white here. You know, you got to test stuff sometimes. Yeah, didn't really add it much. Could have worked better if I did it first, but... In the end, the snake isn't going to be as contrasted as I wanted him to be. That sucks a little bit, to be fair. But, you know, it's not a big deal. It looks good, though, already. It's just not exactly the way I wanted. White dots are nice, though. Uh, yeah, well, they're gone now. So, sorry, I just saw your comment. Uh, appearing there is a slight late latency so I took them away and I'm not gonna put them back so it's all right in any case I still have to do the the, the head of the snake pretty well uh, I'm gonna put everything I can on the the head part because It'll make for the the rest of the the snake, even if the rest isn't 
like super pretty. It looks good, you know, for tabletop. Uh, it's tabletop ready. It's more than tabletop ready. Um, still, I'm, you know, I'm still. I got mixed feeling because I don't know why, but I'm sure some white in there somewhere would look super cool. But why could I do? Because I'm sure that some white could save the day. Because you know it's it contrasts very well white, so it brings out stuff. And um, okay, so there is going to be white on his uh, head, though. That's for sure. Because the under jaw is going to be very white. Underneath here, it's going to be white. But first, I'm going to do uh, for next time, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know what? It's, nah, it's all right. What I'm going to do, though, is pass again here and there with some orange. Now, I didn't, I, I could have just painted the whole stripes like black and decided to add some orange or some red afterwards but if I do that uh, I lose um, a lot of uh, intensity in the color because obviously light colors don't go well on top of black colors so I wanted to leave this space but what I'm gonna do is just enhance a little bit colors there just to get nice effects because these are supposed to be round so I don't want them to look like too squished and hopefully this will suffice to give a nice look to the whole piece beast Come on. You're gonna look good, I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, I'm probably going to end the stream soon. First, because I'm getting a bit tired. Also, we're going to see an exhibit this uh, evening. So I'm going to stop for a while. Also, I'm just mainly doing the same stuff. I think you guys already saw that. So, But I'm definitely going to paint more of these uh, following days. I'm still working on a tutorial for the channel, so I'm going to work on it too, but I can't share this work with you guys, unfortunately. Um, but I'm definitely, I want to paint a few more miniatures. i got work to do at home also, so some, 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 some work has to be done uh, for the house, you know. But um, I'll definitely be out there, because I'm in holiday now, so... I'll probably be here this week once in a while for a bit of painting. So if you guys can hang out, I'll be with pleasure. For now, I'm going to say bye. And have a nice one. It's not bad, right? looks better when I put the orange and the red inside because sometimes I wasn't very uh, very neat by using the black and I figured that using you know a little bit of raw orange 
on top will eventually work for the best by bringing out uh, these uh, small patterns and giving more definition to the, 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 the whole piece. It looks better. It does look better. Well, I'm happy at least that worked since the white uh, technique didn't really uh, work out. This works well. That is a relief at least. And um, there you go. So I'm going to do a pose, then I'm going to work later on on this guy just for the, the finishing touches. But uh, this probably won't be on camera. In any case, you guys take care. Um, nice crafting to you guys, uh, or painting, or, you know, yeah, uh, the, the crafting for the Viking ship, Alexander. Uh, I think it was Alexander, or was it someone else? I think it was Alexander. Uh, for the ship, yep. Uh, so uh, good luck for the ship and uh, the shield road. Uh, thanks, uh, Gregory, for your feedback also. Uh, you guys take care. Have a nice time. Uh, nice day slash evening, depending on where you're at in the world. And um, I'll see you guys uh, later for another episode or another live. Bye.